The Blanchard River Demonstration Farms are a five-year, $1 million project between the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Natural Resources Conservation Service, and the Ohio Farm Bureau Federation. It's all to demonstrate on-farm conservation practices to help improve water and nutrient conservation. Shane Kellogg and his dad Bill are part of the project. He talks about why. It makes sense. You know, you're, uh, you're more efficient with your fertilizer. You're, uh, you know, doing it for the environment, too. It stays in the field. And, you know, it, it should, you know, should equate to, uh, you know, bottom dollar, too. You know, we've went uh, from 100% tillage across every acre to uh, a lot of cover crops, uh, banding all our fertilizer in front of our corn, you know, corn planter. And uh, there's been big changes, you know. We still haven't figured it out yet, but, you know, we learn something every year. Chris Kirk's farm is also part of the project. He talks about how he's doing things a little bit differently for the demonstration that may be a practice that'll work long term. I said it a lot of times, as long as I'm keeping that fertilizer in the field, it's working for me. And, uh, you know, it's better for my bottom line if, I, if I'm spending as little as possible on fertilizer. That's why we're doing a lot of things to try to reduce the application of fertilizer. Uh, for example, the grid sampling shows us exactly how much phosphorus, and nitrogen, and potassium is actually needed. So then we only apply what we need. We're not over applying fertilizers like maybe we were doing 20 and 30 years ago. Anthony Statler and his dad Dwayne are taking part in the livestock aspect of the Blanchard River Demonstration Farms. What our role is here is trying to take the animal uh, part of it. The other two farms are kind of doing the, the strip till, um, commercial side of fertilizer um, that they're using. And what we're doing here is trying to prove out just exactly what the animal manure um, plays a part in everything. Um, with the demonstration farm that we've got, uh, being able to have uh, two sides of the creek that we're uh, currently using in two different facilities. Uh, the next two years, we're gonna be putting a baseline together of just exactly what is uh, leaving the fields, um, if there is any at all. And from there, once we get that baseline done, we'll be able to use both sides of the creek to be able to do two different conservation practices to try to to better, um, to better ourselves and better practices, you know, for the state of Ohio and actually states all around. The demonstration farm's end goal is to help producers find the right combination of practices that reduces nutrient and sediment loss while minimally impacting their financial bottom line. I recently took a tour of the Blanchard River demonstration farms, and you can read more about what these three farms are doing for Northwest Ohio water quality online now at ohioagnet.com. I'm Ty Higgins reporting.